first. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, we're trying. You to just had to wind it up a little extra. We're trying That's to right. figure out how how big of an in person shear you're going to have on Chalam Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Taka. But yeah. take it, Taka. Where are you for Chalam Yeah, Orlando. Where? I don't know yet. I get. No, I'm saying until I'm going to take a hotel, whichever. He knows. He just doesn't want to say because there's I promise no way you I have no you. idea. I have no idea. Speak to Parrots. He's in charge. Okay, we're in cha- we're in champions. Find out. We're, flying out. <laughs> we're in champions gate. That's where it seems like most of Claudius is. Right. Did he get through the seltzer? He yeah. did not. There's cans in the back door. Maybe Liner won't find out, Rabbi, if you don't tell anybody. <laughs> liner is coming. What does that mean? Oh, on, a liner boy got before him. What do you mean? <laughs> liner's, uh, liner's coming. Are you kidding? <laughs> liner has to deal with all the all the uh, airlines. When the, when he books a ticket, he automatically gets one. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Listen, he, he booked them in the airport, so they were even cheaper. So I kind of, you know. Like spirit? What then? What then? Coil Airlines. What do you mean? Coil Airlines. I mean, I mean, I'm not such a knack. I'm going southwest. Southwest is better than Southwest is better than these guys. So, yes. But the, the right. Shilas, if you did Southwest, did you do the Dan's deals for the Southwest or you bought no, I have my, no, the Southwest tickets I have are from last year patients that we didn't end up going. Uh-huh. I hear you. All right. Okay, we're ready to go. We have a little bit of Agadita, a little bit more Agadita, and then we start with the uh, the real Pesach Dika. I should have posted that out. That we you know, we start with the real the real halachas uh, of the Seder tonight. Okay, where did we leave off yesterday? Um, yeah. Oh, I meant to look something up. Okay, <clears throat> so all right. So we left off yesterday that if you get invited to a bris, yeah. So the Tosis and the the Rashbam and the Tosis both said that you're not allowed if you don't go to uh, you're gonna go in Nidu. Hashem is gonna put you into Cherim if you don't if you're not Mesiv in a Chabura Shel Mitzvah. So with the Rashbam said that that means a chasana of obviously a learned fellow. What um, about all those people that grab food in the end of the bridge and leave with something in a little Reynolds wrap? <clears throat> what, what are you? Right. Yeah. So I'm not sure if that's not maybe. I think they're better off than the guys that don't go to the bridge at all. Don't take anything. All right. No. Okay. Yeah, but you're not sticking around. At least they participate. Now stick around for benching. I don't know if it doesn't say you have to stick around. It doesn't say you have to stick around for benching. Just you're not you're not mesi bechabur shel mitzvah. And Tosis, right? We saw saw yesterday. Tosis says on Amad Aleph the Tosis that um, if you see that the people that are there are not uh, not the greatest people, then there's no reason to sit with them. It's only if the people sitting there are 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 good people. I mean, everybody's good. There's, everybody's a good person. We're talking about where. There's no litzonas, et cetera, et cetera, going on. Right? Fine. Okay, so in the next line, it's where we're uh, one, two, three, seven lines up from the bottom <coughs> on Kufi Gimel Vez. It's Omer Rav Arachan, Omer Rav Yoy, Omer Rav Shmuel, Omer Rav Shmuel, Omer Rav Meshum Rav Yoysi, Ish Hutzel, from Rav Yoysi, Ish Hutzel, Minayin Shein, Shoyelin Bekaldiyim. How do you know that you're not allowed to ask of, I think we did do this yesterday. Okay, Chaldeum is the ast- astrologers, meaning you want to see the future and see what's going on. Shanemar, Tamim Tia, Mashem You have to be Tamim with Hashem. Right? Now, does that mean, I mean, there's a lot of tumult with this with this also. Does that mean that looking at a weather forecast is also not, not Tamim Tia, Mashem What about sonograms? What about blood tests? What about all these, all these uh, things? Is that... Is that a lack of tum tiyash in Hashem the, 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 the weather people never get it right anyway, so it don't matter. <laughs> Very good. Very good. In the short, <laughs> short term, they maybe get it right. But, uh, what about medical? What about uh, genetic testing? I mean, some things you're doing for your, for your health. When you get a sonogram, it's, it's, for, it's for to see. It's for health. So what? So what? If you're looking to see something that wasn't meant for you to be seen. Right? 
Whatever. It's 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 a uh, it's not a puzzle to think. It's not a puzzle thing with the Paiskin. Exactly how you define how you where do you draw that line between Tamim Tia and and where you and Shtadlus as they call it. Right? So then, why should we ever get any shots or anything? And a Hanami. And a, and a I'm Hanami. Is that the That's same argument? The yes, yes, I, yes. I, but, then, but then why in the Gemara did they have all these things that they did to prevent certain things? What would be the, why in the Gemara's times? Every, every generation has their things that they have. No. It's no, not no. like the Gemara didn't have any to, medicine that they, they, that they used to prevent no, things. No, but to, to prevent, to just take things to prevent and you don't know about it and you're just preventing it. Because, but you don't know for sure it's going to happen. That's one so thing. So if you get hurt, you shouldn't take an X-ray either. No, once you're hurt, you're okay. Once you're once you hurt, you're hurt. Uh, right? But, but don't they hold that a, that a thing. pregnant woman's a chola, so you have to do your tests? No, I, let me just tell you. I'm telling you, most paiskim, like the big paiskim, aren't. We're not very pro taking sonograms at all during pregnancy. It's just it's an interesting thing that it became a kubel in the belt that we do we do sonograms, but uh, uh, the stipler was not into it. Reb Chaim Kenyeski is not into it. Reb Shmuel Kamenetsky Fashteitzach is not into it. Uh, Reb David Feinstein was not into it, right? All the big rabbis who we go to with all our major shilas were not into all this this diagnostic. Obviously, once you're in it, you're in it, but uh, they were not. It's not so push it. It's not so push it at all. Okay, but that's a whole schmooze for a different time. What? The Ramban of the Rechaim Hakadosh on the Rapa Yerapa. The Ramban holds you. I didn't yeah. want to go down that road, but yes, the yeah. Ramban. What Gershon is? Gershon's trying to cook the pot over here, stir the pot, right? So <laughs> the Ramban holds you're not even allowed to be Marapa anything, right? If it's a physical Marapa, like Jesse said, like somebody breaks the arm, then yeah. But anything else, the Ramban pretty much holds you not allowed to do. But that's a whole different subject. Fine. Then we, you know, okay. Whatever it is, fine. Right there. Five lines off in the bottom. That's if you know that somebody's greater than you, even in one thing that you have to give him covered, meaning not, not because he's your Rebbe, just because you know that he's better than you in one area, which means that everybody should be mechabit everybody else, because we know everybody is better than everybody else in one area. Everybody has their, their good and their good things that they're good at and their bad things. That, right, present company excluded. But I'm saying, but uh, right, everybody's good, but uh, whatever. So I don't know if that means in Tyra, right, or this just means. I mean, Pasha's is a means in Tyra, but it doesn't say that in the Gemara. Okay, Shenemar, call Kibel, um, call Kibel di Ruach Yatirave, right, because of the extra um, Ruach. Right, Umalka Ashis like Musa al Malchusa. So the king made him the put him uh, in charge of the entire um, Malchus, in charge of the whole, in charge of the whole uh, kingdom. Fine. But Why, can I ask you something? Yeah. Well, why did you say that the Pashta says that it's entire? I think that's we make just a brach and regular chachma too. True, but I don't know. That just seems to be the understanding, right? I don't know. I don't know. Truth is, I looked it up in Art Scroll, and Art Scroll in the block, not in the block, but in the, right, they have the block is the tight, and then they have the lighter. That They are pretty sure that they wrote in there Tyra, but they didn't say from who. Torah scholarship, yes, it says Torah scholarship. Right, but they don't have any maramukam, though, on who that, where they got that from. Right? Okay, because Pashtra says you stand up for Tyra, for Tyra. You don't have to stand up for, it uh, doesn't say, you have to be Mechabed doctors, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, but it doesn't mean that you have to, uh, it doesn't mean um, that you have to stand up for them, necessarily, right? You're supposed to be Mechabed Ashirim also, but I don't know if there's, I think it's a special day. I don't know, but uh, okay. Um, the truth is, he doesn't hear, he, he just says, Linux by COVID, the truth is, I'm wrong. It just says COVID, it doesn't say anything about standing up. Okay, anyways, fine. By Yeshevas al Dam Torah, Asur Lashamash. This is actually a little bit complicated. That So basically, after a woman has a baby and she clears up, then for the next 40 or 80 days, depending whether it's a boy or a girl, any Dam she sees is Tahar. And they're mutter to be together. So he said that if Yeshevas al Dam Torah, then after those, those days are up, the 40 days or the 80 days, then they're also to be Mashamash because they're afraid 
that one second the person's going to think, hey, she saw Dam and I was mutter. So then even after that, when the Dam is no longer, is, is going to become Tomei, you think, oh, she sees Dam and she's, and, and I'm okay. So therefore they said that you have to, you cannot, and you have to go to the mikvah. Fine, ad kama, until how long can you be together? I'm a rab, I know. It's, it's one I know, right? Right, meaning a day or a night, whatever it is. Fine. Tana, who Yosef ish hutzel, because we just quoted him. Who Yosef abavli, who isi ben gur, ben Gurariye, who isi ben Yehuda, who isi ben Gamliel, who isi ben Mahalo. He had a lot of names. Umashmoi, isi ben Akavya Shmoi, and his name was isi ben Akavya. Right? Who Reb Yitzchok ben Tavla, who Reb Yitzchok ben Chakla, who Reb Yitzchok ben Ella, who and our Anton Meralef, who Reb Yitzchok ben Acha, the Shmaitz, the Shmaitz who Reb and Reb Yitzchok ben Acha, the Shmaitz who that's Reb Yitzchok ben Acha of of the Shmaitzes. And Reb Yitzchok ben Pinchas the Agadita and Agadita, the main Shmaitzes is the regular halacha, and Reb Yitzchok ben Pinchas is from the Agadita. The Simonik and how are you going to remember this? Taking it, is this this. What? Who Rabbi Yitzchak ben Tavla at the bottom line? Uh-huh. That's the new line. Right? Losing you. It's Losing you. I'm not saying this uh, Isi ben Akavya is Rabbi Yitzchak ben Tavla? That's what it seems. That's what it seems. I thought it was one one big uh, one big big thing. I think. All right, you're frozen. Okay, fine. Listen to me, brothers, my brothers and my loved ones. Right. So Shimuna is is Shmaitza and Achai is Acha. Fine. Rabbi Yehuda Rabbi Rabbi Loi. The Rashi is a separate thing. He Gershon's right. Rabbi Yehuda Rabbi Loi. What? The Rashbam says the whole Rabbi Yitzchok. Right. Who, I Yitzhak. didn't care what he was asking. It's he was asking, who Rabbi Yitzchok ben Tavla is a new Zach, is a new Gemara. Yeah. Is that what you're asking? Yes, I yes, yes. I, I thought you were asking the continuation in the middle of that. Yes, that's a new Zach. Yeah, they were those. This first, the first one is, 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 I apologize if I didn't say it correctly. Rabbi Yitzchok Ish Hutzel is the first one, and he has about, I don't know, I didn't count, six names. And then we have Rabbi Yitzchok ben Tavla, who has four names. Right, four. Yeah. Well, a four. Then, then the four, the fifth is depending on if it's Shmaitza or or Agadita. Fine. Okay. So Amar Rabba Bar Bachan Rav Yechon Mishmeid Rav Yudah Bar Rabbi Loi A Chol Batzel B'Shav Batzel. If you eat an onion, right, and B'Shav Betzel, right, so it's a play on words. Yeah. So Batzel Batzel means onion. Betzel means in the shade. If you eat an onion and then you sit in the shade of the house. But loy seichel might do that, meaning when you eat an onion, sit in the shade. But loy seichel avazim and tanagal be a leib chadroy de velacha. But don't eat um, avazim is geese, tanagalin is, is chickens, and because then what's going to happen? Your heart is going to run after you, right? Meaning you it's going to the Rashi and the Rashbam say you're going to you're going to want to ch- eat chicken all you want, or as much as you can. So therefore, don't do that. Yeah. The point is, is that you should eat cheaper foods than this, because otherwise you're going to run out of money, right? Make less eating and drinking, and then you'll be able to um, afford a bigger house. Meaning, don't blow all your money on food. That's essentially what, what he's saying. He also, Ula, Omar, Masla, Maslin, Vimarova, right? And they, they would say, uh, they would say a memory in Marova, the Achil, Alyasa Tashe Balyasa. Somebody who eats Alya, we had Alya a few blood ago in the in the Kachin party. You eat a fatty, the fatty uh, well, we said it's a fatty tail. Tashi Balyasa. Then you're gonna have to hide in your Ali in your it means Aliyasa in your second floor, right? Because you're gonna eat fatty foods, it costs a lot of money, and they're gonna come after you because you're not gonna be able to afford it. The Achel Kakule Akikli the Masa Shachim. And if you eat vegetables, then you're going to sit near the um, the bad part of town, right? The Ra- and the Rashi and the uh, Rashbam says it's uh, the ashpas, the garbage, right? Um, because 
if you eat cheap stuff, nobody's going to come after you. Yeah? So maybe nobody's going to, nobody's going to, if you eat, I mean, they're all saying the same you say. Don't spend a lot of money on food and it won't, and, and you won't go into debt. That's what it's saying. Eat cheap food and that's it. Okay? Fine. Hadron on the Agata to Gemara, at least meanwhile, for the next few blocks. Okay, now we start with Mamish with the, we continue with the halachas of the Siddharam. This is up the Mishnah. Yeah, Mazgulai Kais Rishon. So they pour him the first Kais, right? So we already said a Diak in this Mazgulai Kais Rishon. So what does that mean to him? Right? So it means the, the Bala Seder, the one who's in charge of the Seder. And so a lot of times by the Siddharam, everybody's busy pouring each other wine. You know, nobody pours themselves. From this Mishnah, it's Meduyik, that's Mazguloi. The really the only one that has to be poured for is the, is what do you call it? Is the Bala Seder, the one that's leading the Seder, for sure should have his, his Kais poured. And uh, what el- whatever happens with everybody else is not as important, right? So Mazguloi Kais Rishon. But don't, but don't you him. say, I remember from I'm sorry, what last year, I think you said each Bar Mitzvah boy should have his own. Then the, with thing. the wine, it was still so it's a No, that's not no, 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 no. no. But I mean, okay, but the minig and the veltas, everybody pours for each other. But whatever it is, so muscular kosher. You, you, you can you also be medai from here. Somebody else. What do you say? Is no, it wrong for the bal- really the the bala should not. Should the bala say this should not pour for anybody else. Yeah. What if he loses patience? I mean, I usually pour it myself. It, nobody can get it together, so he pours everybody's cup. Yeah, that's what I usually do. That's, I just get that's it what I do. everybody because it just goes Correct. quicker that way. <laughs> and I I'm pour myself because it goes quicker thing. that way. <laughs> All right. I, I do the same thing. It just ain't going to, you know, it's not, it, I will, we'll be sitting there by Kadesh for the whole night if we don't get moving. Right? But yeah. So it shouldn't uh, be done. Yeah. Or Anyways. just save your own patience. It's okay. But all of the above. All of the above. <laughs> is the yeah. is the minigail a men for men and women for women? That's uh the pies can bring that. The pies can bring that should you do men for men, women for women to save somebody the busha in case you can't pour the wine. That's what you're referring to. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I don't think the minig is like that, but that's that's yeah. Anyway, so Mazgul like Kais Rishon, you pour him this first Kais. First, you make a bracha on the day, meaning the actual Kiddush, Asher Kiddush Shonu B'Mitzvah Sov, right? And then you make the bracha on Yayin. First, you make the bracha on Yayin, and afterwards, you make the bracha on Yayin. As, as, as we all know, we pass him like Basil, that's why the first bracha for all Kiddush and Havdalah is always Bar- 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 first. Okay, so Tanur Abaran, the Gemara is just going to discuss where Basil and Bishami get their din from. So, <coughs> so Dvarim Shabain Bishami Basil Basuda. There are there are things that, that differences between Bishami Basil by Sudas when it comes when it refers to meals. Bishami Yom Rebarach Halayim Bachach Rebarach Halayim. First you make a bracha on the day, and then you make a bracha on the wine. Why? Mivnei Shayim Garden Liyim Shayovay. What's causing you to drink wine that night? Don't anybody answer this who drinks wine every night, okay? But what's causing you to drink wine special that night? Is the yoyim right? Because today is Pesach, so Mamela, that's why you're drinking wine. So Mavnei Shayoyim Garden Liyayin Shayovay. The day is causing the wine to come. Ukfar Kiddush Shayoyim Vadayin Yayin Loiba. And right, and meaning another reason is that the day became holy, meaning Shkia, let's say, or Tzais, whichever. But the day came first, and then you're making Kiddush later. So whatever whatever came in first, that's what you're going to do first. So the Kiddush Hayyim came first, and then the Yayim. That's Beisham. Is, is, is that a Metzius thing, or a Dereis and Dereibam? The Kiddush is Dereis, so that already comes first. I, he doesn't seem Drabana. to be handling that. He doesn't seem to be handling that. He just seems to be talking strictly like in a, what comes first. Yeah, first you make a brach on the yain, then on the yain. The wine is what's causing you to be able to make kiddush. Now you're going to say, What do you mean? You can make kiddush on bread, on bread, right? So, what it means is the yain or the bread is causing you to be able to make kiddush. Meaning, if you don't have wine or bread, or in this case, matzah, you would not be able to make kiddush. So, if you're not able to make kiddush, 
without the wine, so then the wine comes first. First, you so say what about butter during Priyakofen. Davening? Now, because what's that? Now, because I have butter Priyakofen, now I can make Kiddush. Aren't we Makadish Diyayim also during Davening? You are Makadish Diyayim during Davening, but the special so. Kiddush that the Rabbanon said, if you make Allah Yayin, you can't do unless you have Yayin. Right? There is Kiddush Yayim in, in Tefillah, but the Kiddush Yayim of, of Kiddush can't be made unless you have unless you meet the requirements of yayin. Right, Dover Acher, another pshat, Birchas HaYayin Tadira, or Birchas HaYayin Eina Tadira, the bracha on wine is obviously much more common than the bracha on the day. Tadav HaShayin Tadir, Tadav HaKadim, when you have something that's common and something that's not common, the one that's common goes first. Birchas HaKadir, Birchas HaKadir, Birchas HaKadir, like, like Birchas HaKadir, My Dover Acher, what's Dover Acher? Meaning, what is, what's Birchas HaKadir, what's Birchas HaKadir, what's Birchas HaKadir, what's Birchas Right, what does he need the second shot? The chitema. So the Gemara answers the chitema. Hasam tarti v'ochachada. Beis Shammai said two reasons, and Beis only says one reason. So achanami tarti nino. I also Beis saying I also have two reasons. Because tarti v'shenet tarti tarti kaidem. So that's why he says davar acher. But halacha kedir Beis Hillel. So the halacha is like the, like Beis Hillel. Pshita the hanafik baskel. It's pashut the baskel already went out. That Allah is like Basil, that Allah is always like Basil. So, what do you have to say here? Allah is like Basil. If I say Makaidan Baskal, either you're going to say that this was talking about before that story happened with the Baskal, so therefore we have to say that Allah is like Basil. If I say Malachar Baskal, it's after the Baskal, Rabbi Shua, he, and it's Rabbi Shua, Dharma Ain Mashkich and Rabbaskal, and it's Rabbi Shua who says that we don't, we don't listen to Baskals at all. And therefore, you have to, it doesn't make a difference. You still have to teach who the, who the Allah is like. Fine. I don't okay, know, so that's the base of Machloi. The, the yeah. Vechit Tema, the Vechit Tema of the Gemara is mashma that this is one whole line of Gemara. So, for some reason, according to Rabbi Yeshua, I need Beis Hillel to have two reasons. In other words, the Basco, uh, after the Basco, not according to Rabbi Yeshua, doesn't matter how many reasons he has. But the whole reason I need two reasons is either because it's the Basco, or Rabbi Shua after the Basel. But how does right. that help? So Mela Halak is like Beis Hillel because he had two reasons? What, no, what? all the Gemara is saying why the Gemara had to state explicitly Halak did the Rabbi Shua. And not just rely yeah, on whatever but, the Basel said earlier. The so just, the Basel goes out. Now we need a reason. The reason is no. because he has two reasons against two reasons. No, the, the Gemara says Halak did the Rabbi The Gemara is asking why do we have to say that? How about the two reasons? What, what's the mm-hmm. Vechitema? What do you mean? Meaning, are you going to say that that um, the that Hasam Tarti Vahachachada? Meaning that the there's two, to that reasons, is... two reasons against one reason. Right, what's wrong with that? So he's also saying two. What would be wrong with saying two problem? against one? Yeah. Well, you would think that somebody has two reasons why he's doing something. This has a stronger reason. So therefore, we should ask him like him. That's that's what it seems. So the reason, in other words, now the reason we're asking like Beis Hillel, according to Rabbi Shua, is because Beis Hillel also has two reasons. Correct. So you have two against two. Why is that yeah. a reason to bask like Basil? It's not a re- reason to bask like Basil. They were just saying we have then it happens to be we pass them like Basil. I don't think it's that's why we pass How does the like second Basil? reason help? Gamara seems to be saying that the second reason helps with this somehow. Right. No, I don't I don't I didn't learn it like that. I just didn't learn it like that. I don't know how to read it then. I mean, the Gemara asks, it's Pshita. Oh, that's afterwards. But the Hilchza Kedir Rebbe still of mine. Yeah. Oh, no. I read it wrong. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't mind to break this up, right. Siakha, okay. but there is a song but called Basco. Oh, very good. Okay. <laughs> okay, fine. Right. It's all the Mishnah. Have you the fun of this Mishnah is confusing just to the wording of the Mishnah is a, can throw you off a little bit. Have you the fun of, at least me, so they bring in front of him to be tavel with chazeres. Now chazeres literally is meant as as moror, 
like it means lettuce, but maror. So they bring him something to dip in, which Gemara is going to discuss exactly what this is. Until they reach, until they bring the parperas apas, which is the thing that comes after the bread, after literally pas, but it means matzah, obviously, right? Meaning they're bringing you something to be toivel the vegetable now, and and there's going to be another toiveling after the challah. That's that's what that means. Atshamagia the parperas apas. There's going to be we're doing a tefillah now. And then there's going to be another one after 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 matzah, which is going to which which is mara, right? So you feel in front of matzah, and then they bring in front of him matzah v'chazeres, right? And lettuce or mara v'charoises or shnei tavshil and two cooked foods. Ava pish ein charoises mitzvah, and they bring it even though charoises is not a mitzvah. The Lord is a mitzvah. The mitzvah it is a mitzvah. Uva mikdash and the base of mikdash. I feel we feel in front of gufa shapesach. At that point, they would bring the whole carbon pesach in front of him. Right, that's mean. That's when they brought in the whole meal after the magid. After magid, then they brought in the whole meal. Right. Well, actually, the truth is, we have to see exactly when this was. It sounds like this is before magid. But I mean, before uh, matzah. Right. Now, there's a toisvus that's important, but it's going to be negay in two days. So I'm just going to mention it. Hopefully, we'll remember it in two days. Is how can you if you saw the charoises is not a mitzvah, right? So we dip the mar in charoises, right? If you hold charoises is not a mitzvah, why isn't that mevatel the taste of the mitzvah of mora? Right? Meaning, you're not allowed to, when you have a mitzvah, we're going to see in two blood that when you have a mitzvah, maybe it's tomorrow, but when you have a mitzvah to eat matzah, can you put, can you put uh, mayonnaise or dips on your matzah when you're, when you're eating mozi matzah, make it a lot more gishmak, instead of stuffing all that third of a matzah why down not? your throat, why right? Not? Because because you can't because you have to have the tam of the mitzvah you you can't that, mix in voice. anything anything other than the tam of the mitzvah. Well, where isn't that your voice? Why is Isn't that your voice? Why is because it's not the right, right whatever that's what you said over. That, it's uh, not, not a var. It's, it's not tomorrow. One. We're going to get to it tomorrow. Oh. The next oh, okay. day. Yes, that's exactly but what, right. Because you mix him once the right and once not the right. So it's the same thing. Correct. Very good. Good enough, Dolly. Very good. You're on the ball. Yeah. So. So, but the bottom line is, Taisa says, how can you put charoises if it's not a mitzvah onto your mora? You're eating you something that's a mitzvah, mitzvah der to eat mora, and then you're mixing with something that's not even a mitzvah. So Taisa says, no, it's there to enhance the mora, right? Because of the sharpness of the mora, it's there to dull it. So therefore, it's considered part of the mora. That's what Taisa is there. But we'll get to that, uh, you know, in a, in a couple of days, Bez Hashem. Fine. Okay. On Mate, top of it, it's to the mora. Something if that's it's, bothered if me. If it's quick, because it's getting a little late. Getting a little late. Eight so. years. What's the definition of mara? Bitter or sharp? Uh, it's supposed to be. It's more of a Rosh Hashanah sugi. This question you're asking, right? Because <laughs> what are you not allowed to have on Rosh Hashanah? Right. That's a bad simon. Oh yeah. yeah because sharp true. foods you could have on Rosh Hashanah. Bitter, bitter. You, you shouldn't have bitter foods on Rosh Hashanah. Sharp you can. I think mara is bitter. Mara, why mara, is lettuce is not sharp? But we eat sharp. We eat, the the chrein is sharp. Well, uh, which it's supposed to be bitter. That's not supposed to be sharp. It's supposed to be bitter. That's why the ikr din, according to oh, according to everybody, pretty much lettuce, what we call lettuce, is the ikr mara, not the horseradish. Right? Okay, we'll discuss that. Okay, so Amrish Lakish, so I'm Amrish Lakish. As I say, this is what the Gemara means to say. Yeah? Mitzvah striches kavana. Mitzvahs need kavana, meaning if you do a mitzvah and you don't have kavana, then you're not yod to the mitzvah. Why? How do you know that from our Mishnah? Since we said, right, the Mishnah says you bring in chazeres and then you're going to bring him another chazeres after hamotzi. Right? So it's since not at the time of the chiyav of Mara is when he ate the Mara, right? Right after Kiddush, before he even washed, that's before the chiyav of Mara. So, priyadama, who da'achalei? He's eating with a bayer priyadama, like any other vegetable, right? You eat a vegetable, you make bayer priyadama. In his head, he's not being yoyed to the mitzvah of mara. And that's why he has to have mara again later when it's the proper time because mitzvahs need kavana. And since he did not have the proper, the assumption is he didn't have the proper kavana by the first dipping. So that's it. So that's how we know. 
right? Vidilma, and perhaps Le'yichavan Lamara, he did not have Kavana for Mara. Therefore, he has to go back and be Taival a second time for Mara. The Isagadai Mitzvah is Le'yichavan Kavana, because if you hold that Mitzvahs don't need Kavana, Lamalach Tre Tibule, why do you have to dip the Mara twice? Meaning, why once after Kaddish or Orchatz, right? meaning what we call Karpas, and then you have to do it again later. Why? You, you ate the Mara already. Even if you didn't have Kavana for Mara, you ate the Mara. But Tavale Chadazim, you already tabled it once. So again, Lama Lach Trey Tibule. Why do you need to table it twice? But Tavale Chadazim, you tabled it once. You already tabled once, so that's enough. Elamai must be the reason why you have to table twice, is because the first one wasn't meant for Mara. All you made was a Bayer Priyadama. You must not have had Kavana, or you may not have had Kavana. And therefore, Mitzvah's two. Because Kavana and you were not Yaitza, and therefore you have to you have to do it again. So then that's the, that's rich, that's Rish Lakish's proof that mitzvahs require Kavana. So Gemara says, Me my, how do you know this Dilma loyalam mitzvahs ain't is going on? No, maybe mitzvahs don't need Kavana, and he would be Yaitza with the first dipping. And that this that you said that you needed to to, to toivel it twice. Because that we're doing it, right? Like everybody knows, we're doing these things in order that the kids should see that you're toveling it twice, and the kids are going to ask, Why are you dipping twice? Right? So, meaning has nothing to do with it. Really, according to Iker Halacha, you don't. You already ate more, you don't have to eat it again. But you're doing it again in order for the kids to ask. And if you're going to say, So then just say other vegetables, right? Why are you saying, why you, what does it have to be chazeres, which is more? Just say uh, potatoes, right? Which is, gets, that's where the whole sugi gets into. The, you take potatoes, celery, all these type of things. So, right? And Iyash mean shayirakas, if you would have said shayirakas, meaning this would be the answer. If you would have said, bring other vegetables, havamina, I would have thought, hey, chadika shayirakas, that the only time you need to dip twice is if you happen to have two types of vegetables. But if you only had more then you wouldn't need two, you need you wouldn't need to dip it twice. So that comes to teach us that even if you have more you need to dip twice. So that should be a hacker for the Tinaikas. But the point is, is that really you would be Yaitzal tomorrow. You're just doing it twice so that the kids should 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 uh, ask. Then another, and we have another Kasha. On Rish Lakish, Achlan Demai Yatza. Let's say you ate the Moror from Demai. So Demai, we said, is, is vegetables that come from an Amoras. So we're afraid that he does not he does not take off the Maisrus. So, but if you eat Demai, you are Yatza. Achlan Beloy Mishaven Yatza. Let's say you ate the Moror without Kavana, then you're Yatza, which is obviously a price that's not like Rish Lakish. Rish Lakish says you have to know what you're doing, right? Achlan Lechatsai and Yatza. If you eat it in half, in half measurements, as long as between the two halves that you're eating, you don't wait, right? You don't wait between each eating of each half, more than which is the amount of time it takes to eat a piece of bread, which we say is anywhere from two minutes to nine minutes. Whatever it is, it's a kash on Rish Lakish, two big kashas on Rish Lakish that mitzvahs don't require kavano. Tanoi. So we say it's a machloikis tanoim. The Tanya, Rabbi Yaisi Aymer, Rabbi Yaisi says, Afa pisha til bechazeres, even though you already toiled in with the maror, mitzvah lahavi lefanam chazeres v'charoises v'shnei tavshilin, it's a mitzvah to bring chazeres, charoises, v'shnei tavshilin. Right? So we're saying that it's a machloikis, it's a machloikis tanoim, whether whether we say um, a mitzvah striches kavana. Yeah? Because says, "Vakati mimai." Who says? Maybe Dilma. Because Rabbi Yosi mitzvahs ain't tzrichas kavana. Maybe Rabbi Yosi holds mitzvahs don't need kavana. By the being a treaty vule, and this that you need to be dipping it twice is kihechi to have a hakeru latinaikus, so that the kids should recognize it. That's why. So the Gemara says, "Imkain my mitzvah." So what does it mean? It's a mitzvah, right? You can't you can't say that it's a mitzvah to get the kids to ask two questions. That's too strong a term, right? So that's it. So therefore, it has to be that the reason why Rabbi Yossi wants you to bring it twice is because he holds mitzvahs don't need kavana. I'm sorry, mitzvahs need kavana. And that's who Rish Lakish is going like. So the bottom line is the Maskana Sagamara 
is that it's a machloikis whether mitzvah strichus kavona or not. Right? So Lamaisa, we paskin, the way we paskin is for Dairaisas, mitzvah strichus kavona. Right? The Rabbonans were a little bit more makeup. So if that's the case, so I, I don't want to ask personally, but before we said Kriya Shema tonight by Mairev, assuming everybody dab in Mairev, did we have in mind that we're being Yoytze, they were saying Kriya Shema, we're having in mind to be Yoytze, the mitzvahs I say to say Shema at night, how about Yitzhiya's Mitzrayim, right at the end, did we have that Kavana? Right? When, uh, and do we, Tataka, say that, we, are we really conscious of what we doing is, is we're doing the mitzvah kavana? So Bar Hashem, the Chayodam, the Mishnabura quotes the Chayodam that bails us out, who says that if you're doing a Maisa mitzvah, that's an automatic kavana. That's automatically considered like kavana. Again, we shouldn't rely on this, halavai, that we should make sure we, we know what we're doing before each each thing, which is important by the Seder that I think the, the Bala Seder should announce. There's not that many mitzvahs derises by the Seder, right? Um, Kiddush, Kiddush, okay, well, uh, let's leave Kiddush, right? What's the problem? Uh, Kiddush, right? Uh, matzah is the raisa. Mara is not the raisa. Kiddush is the Rabbanon, no? Well, the CPC is the Well, the CPC is the time part of the Kiddush, right? CPC is the time is the raisa. But that is the matzah. No, I'm saying, but they got to be careful that the Ilum realizes what, what they're doing. But again, you but it, you, otherwise you have you have the Chayodim. And the Mishnah Buru quotes that when you're doing a Maisa Mitzvah, that's called doing, doing it the Kavona, right? In, in, so in we Siddha, have that by, to rely by, by, In the Siddha, by Kriyashma, you have Zechi Yitzis Mitzrayim, like right by there, by the end, by, by Yoma, you have like a little parenthesis right. next to it there. So that's, that's somewhat of a reminder. Right, yeah, if, if you're concentrating, right? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you're Zichr concentrating. You're Zichr concentrating. I don't know about the, myself. It's already a bigger up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> okay, so let's invite him. So that, that's that. So then, my shnei tafshile. What does it mean that you bring in front of him two tafshile, two cooked foods? Omar of Huna, Silka, Va'aroiza. You bring Silka's beets and Oiras. Is oges right? Is rice. rice. The two cooked foods, what the two cooked foods um, were, um, iris for, for Rav Huna. He meaning obviously he held it doesn't have to have any. It has no um, connection to what it was that was brought in the base of Mikdash. It's just two cooked foods, and that's enough to remind you of the two foods that went on in the zechel of and the zechel of Karim Pesach that went on. Right now, obviously. The rice is Adama? Clearly. What? Why? This is nothing to do with, with, uh, with vegetables. This is two cooked foods. We use, we use the egg and the shank bone, as they call it, right? This is not, this is the, this is the two cooked foods. So he, instead of using the egg and the shank bone, he put rice and beets on his seder. Like, yes, so ah, uh, so it's mashma that he ate rice, right? What's with kidney is? So there is no source for kidneys in the Gemara, right? Oh, no. the, uh, kidneys came much later. Kidneys, the Isra of kidneys, the Hanhaga of not eating kidneys came much, much after the Gemara. It's a Chumrah, no? It's a Chumrah. It's a, yeah, but it's a Hanhaga that came, it's not Bashas the Gemara, which clearly, right, right, for Ravuna, it didn't, uh, he did not hold of kidneys, right? Fine. Now, Tysus points out, Silk of Aruzav, says, for Kosher came Shnei Basa. Doesn't mean that it has to be that. He says, kol shikain, two types of cooked meat would be okay. Right? Meaning it's a chiddish that he took these two types of cooked foods, but certainly two types of cooked meat is going to be fine. Fine. Rava have a mahadar a silk of our rice. A rava would dafka go for the beets and the rice. Hoyo v'nafik mi pume de Rav Huna. Right? Since Rav Huna said that he uses beets and rice, so therefore... So therefore, Rava, it almost sounds like Rava was a starka chassid of Rav Huna, right? Meaning, Tysus is saying that he just, he was saying a chiddish, that even that works. And Rav Huna said, oh, no. And Rava said, since Rav Huna said these things out of his mouth, I'm dafka looking for those. 
even though two meats are perfectly fine also, right? Um, yeah. So, and Rava, I mean, the way the Rashbam says it is because the um, because of the love he had to paskin the halacha like him. So he wanted to show stark that the halacha is like him. Fine. Amar Ravashi, Shmami no du Ravuna, right? We hear from Ravuna, less the chayish lo Rabbi Yochan of Benuri. Nobody holds what Rabbi Yochan of Benuri said. The Tani, Rabbi Yochan of Benuri, Aymer, Ayres min dagon hu. Rabbi Yochan of Benuri held that rice is a type of grain. V'chayoven al chimutze koros, and you chayiv koros. This has only to do with Gebros, this Gemara, right? V'chayoven al chimutze, he held that rice is, is like the five grains. And if you take rice and cook it with water, then that's going to be a, that you're going to be a chi of chorus for that. And we know that the two are connected. If you're chi of chorus on a, on a food, then that means you can use it, you can use it for matzah. Right? Fine. Chizki Yomar, Chizki is a filu dagu beitza shalad. You could even have a fish with that means the egg. You, that means that you, you bench on the rice. According to him, yeah, yeah, he, I'm sure, yeah, he would, he would have to like wash on rice and bench on rice. Yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah, all those people on diets eating rice cakes would have, you know, have all sorts of tzoros, you know, they take a few rice cakes in and out, <laughs> they would have a problem, according, right? according to Yerchan and Benuri, you have a problem, we put the rice cake people out of business, right? <laughs> Fine. So, Chizkiya uh, says that you can eat the two cooked foods, right, this is a Chiddush, Meaning, you would think that a fish with some with some eggs on top of it is really one food, right? If you're eating a main course and they put, uh, let's talk, let's talk the language of the oilam on the daf. They took the meat with a rub on it. You're gonna call that you had two main courses, right? No, that's one. That's one piece of meat. So Chizki is saying that you have a fish with eggs on it, even though it's seemingly one food. That's considered two cooked foods. Right, that's that's chizkiyos chiddush. Rabbi Yosef, Rabbi Yosef, I mean, oh, what, what does Latiach mean? The Rashbam says that there used to be Matiach the shmir with egg. So how is that the not shmir. one food? It is. Well, you can't even see really. The egg. It is, but he's it's like saying egg, that egg on a it's cons- Yes, it says that's yeah. that's his chiddush. In every halacha, it's bottle. Here, it's not. It's two tashil. That's what he's saying. What about bishalakum? What about bishalakum? Well, you can't. I mean, what do you mean? You can't cook one without the other. No. If you take an egg and you smear it on something else, is that considered? If you take egg and you smear it on top of bread, is that considered pasakum or bishalakum? It's a big tumul in the paiskim, actually. But that's not, that's not me in this uh, daf over here. But let's just finish it off. Rabbi Yosef Matzarach Shnei Minei Basar. You need two types of meat. Echad Zeichel LePesach. One is a Zeichel LePesach. Echad Zeichel LeChagiga. And one is for the Pesach. One is for the Chagiga. Ravina Omar Afilu Garma Ubishula. Even a bone and I guess the the liquid that comes from the bone. Right? Meaning that or the meaning the soup. You take a soup that has a bone in it. The soup and the bone are considered two different cooked foods, and then uh, and that's and that's what that's what you that's what you'd have. So we have a, a lot of different options here for the two cooked foods. Nowhere does it say an egg exclusively, right? So I'm not sure exactly uh, where that comes from, right? Now there's one interesting tesis. We'll finish with this. The second tesis from the bottom. Says that they did not have one, right? One is Zechel of Pesach, one is Zechel of Chagiga. Right? Now, there was no Chagiga this year, meaning if Ere Pesach fell out on Shabbos, like we learned way back, there's no carbon Chagiga, right? They didn't bring it on Shabbos. So this year, you should only need, it's a good riddle to ask. It's a good riddle to ask you, by, the, by the Seder. You could say, why do we need two? One is Chagiga and one is for the carbon Pesach. But this year, there was no Chagiga. On Friday, because Ere Pesach fell out on Shabbos, there was no carbon chagiga, so it should only be one. There should only there should yeah, only be one. Used to say food. something different in the brach. I'm saying I don't know if it's or something. Your father used to say something different when he would give like, uh, some kind of bracha. I mean, there was welcome in the pesach and something. He would change that's something. That's not so. That's that that's, that changes if it's on. Well, it's Shabbos, correct? Yeah. That's, that's in the Haggadah that, that you somehow have to change it. 
that I don't know. No, that's not part of this. That just changed. Oh, yeah, I guess it has. It's connected to it for sure, right? So that's uh, yeah. So that's that's Tosis Kasha. You should only need one, right? So then, and this the Teretz comes up a lot. This is what we do. Second Tosis on the bottom. Echad zechel a pesav, echad zechel a chagigo. Yeah. Right. So I mean, Tosis says, if you're not going to do it this year, then the next year you may forget. And you can only do one. And really, most years you need two. Right? It's only coming up in the next, right? We're having this year is Arab Pesach falls on Shabbos in four years from now or five years from now, and then another 20. So over the three, so we're afraid that you're not gonna you're not gonna do it on other years. So therefore we continue doing two, even though, even though this year there's no there's no reason, or because of Shem next year, we're gonna have the base of Mikdash, and uh, you're gonna remember from the previous year, oh, oh, we only did one. Right. According to Rabbi Yosef, according to Rabbi Yosef, are we supposed to? It seems like he wants you to eat these dishes that were roasted. Didn't we say you're not supposed to roast things nowadays when it comes yes, to eating? Yes, but that's you're not supposed to eat it. You're not supposed to eat it. Oh, Rabbi Yosef says it. you would eat it as a commemoration. And I think the what? Rashbam also says the Rashbam says you would. You would yeah, but he doesn't you would, say roast it. He doesn't say Rashbam roast does it. say. He doesn't say roast. Says, it. Rashbam does say you roast it. Um, he says tzli. Yeah, but we don't eat the tzli one. We don't eat. The so tzli. I'm asking. It, it's Masha Rabbi Yosef ate right. these dishes. You you'd bring two cooked dishes not to be eaten. Yeah, yeah, that's what I think. Isn't that what we do? We bring two and we don't eat them. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's what I think it comes from. But anyway, it's just finishing off the Tysus. So Tysus says, but we don't want to confuse it with, with basically saying we don't want to confuse it with other years, which is why the same reason why we burn the Chomets on Friday. Why are we burning Chomets on Friday this year? There should be no reason to burn. Or, no, you burn it, you want to miss with burning the Chomets. Why do it Friday morning by 10 o'clock or whatever the Zaman is? Why not? You can do it a whole Friday afternoon, right? Because we're because crazy. Because, because we want to we're keep, crazy. We want to keep it as, as, reg as regular as other years. Because it'll throw people a little off. more stress. What? No, it'll throw people off otherwise. Right. Does yeah, Rabbanan so have that little faith in, in us? That the Rabbanan don't have any faith in us is already a Kiddush. I mean, I mean we're going to text you every we, year. We can't, anyway. we can't figure out that if it's on a Shabbos <laughs> and we do it a different no, time. We're going, to we're going to text Fiago anyway every year. <laughs> yeah, exactly. During Shmanat's right. You're, yeah, you're assuming we're going to remember not. what we did last year. We're not okay. going to remember. We're Neither going to do I. Anyway. Neither do I. I just look up my texts. I was just going to say, David, text. you know. <laughs> I was going to say, David, look up the cheat sheets from the previous year. Yeah. But anyway, so Tyson is saying that you don't want to get confused with things. That's that's all. Right? Um. Yeah, so that's so that's shot in the, that's shot in this Tysis. Okay, I guess we're we're gonna stop over here, but it's shame because it's a new sugya. It's a new sugya from over here. Yes, All right. Rabaran, did you forget okay. to change Good your clocks, Rabaran? No, no, no. You're muted. You're muted. You're muted. Okay. Take care. Good, good, good evening. Brooke, so I, tonight. I was in Brooklyn with Sonny. What was it? Was was what? Rabbi Shimon's yard site tonight. I went to Brooklyn. Oh, with, I went to Brooklyn with Sonny. Oh man, I went to Brooklyn with Sonny. I noticed you're very dressed up tonight. I don't see him. I oh. you're very dressed up. Oh, look at that. Rav Zitzolz. All right. Well, whatever learning we did should have been the lead lead for this in the show. Amen. 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 It's Viaku. Yes. How could it be the rather Paskin he Badafka went out the rice and the beets like like Rav Huna? Rav Yosef was his rabbi. Rav Yosef says <laughs> Shemi Nebar. Right. You there? He's there. Oh, was he stopped talking? Yeah, he's instead of uh, running. Uh, yeah. A phone, a phone call came through on my phone at the same time. Sorry. Um, why, uh, Rav Yosef was Rav's Rav. And yet he passed him like Rav Huna, who was Rav's father. He, 
He probably, okay, I hear. I mean, that we know Rabbi Yosef was his Rebbe. Um, I hear, I don't know, I never thought of that. I never thought of that. Yaakov, where, where do we have the guts to argue with the Gemara about eating rice? Oh, you're asking a good question. So you want to start eating rice? Is that what, is that where you're going with this? I'm, I'm not. It's not my idea. Right. It's, it's straight up in the book. Now listen, you, you would have um, to go up I against think the Yechim Benuri personally. Uh, uh, but you know what? I have a lot of people on the price. other side. I got yeah, the Yeah, but I don't have the guts to go against the Yechim Benuri just because we pass him out like him. You, you want to go to the mice of the middle? We, we, we don't pass don't it like him all year. We don't wash uh, on or make a bracha corona on rice at all. That's true. There's a lot of things we do on Pesach that we don't do the rest of the year. And don't do on Pesach that we do the rest of the year. Come to the Pesach. I'm not going to risk it. Understand? Yeah. Sure hear that. All right, listen. If we don't, we obviously don't. I, mean, well, I think what happened, I'm going to say very balabatish. How come, well, maybe not, maybe this will slug me up. How come you can make these cakes with almond flour and all this stuff on Pesach? Why is that not kidneys? <laughs> right? Potato star, that's what I'm thinking. Because of. Potato it's not. star. Because the mice, it's not. Why not? It never was. It never was established. I know, but the mice, it should be, right? If me and you were establishing something, I would say potato starch can get so confusing with chametz. I mean, I, there's no question that people... No, but they didn't do it, right? They didn't do it, right? But also, potato starch is very different. It acts differently than flour. It doesn't act the same. I, yeah, Rice I don't know, flour listen, and wheat flour I, act differently it may be, also. Now, the way I understand it... The way I understand it is that Something must have happened the way they started producing rice that it got much more similar to hummus, and therefore they decided to put a stop to it. But I have no idea. Truth is, we need Shmuli to figure this out. Shmuli, this is Shmuli's, uh, you know, thing, you know, married as Fardi, figure it out. Well, I think, I think Rabbi Yechon and Ben Nuri and our Minig of Kittius are very similar. All, all well, the Khameshis Mine Daga and rice are all kinds of grass that are edible, eaten. So there isn't, I mean, realistically, there's not much difference between rice and the other minedaga. They're all grasses that are eaten. All right. All right. Gentlemen? I don't know. I hear. I don't know. Not even. Okay. Anyways, um, all righty. So Yaakov, I wanted to ask you one more question. Yeah. The the Gemara, the Mishnah already says that you bring Mara and dip it before before a Kiddush, right? Before Kaddish. Right. So we Paskin today, I mean the Mishnah Paskins at least, that uh, we don't eat lettuce the whole air of Yomtev because the mitzvah should be special. Right. No. But this Mara that he's eating now is Badafka, not the mitzvah. So what's the difference? Um, again, what are you saying? We pass him today not not to eat Mara the whole Arab Pesach. Why? So the mitzvah should be special, not with the oven, but special. Right. Right? The Mishnah says he eats Marr before Kaddish. That means immediately before he's making Marr not special. Right. Why isn't that a steer to the halakha today? I don't know. Is it really considered is it really considered a halacha that you don't eat mutter all day? Is that, or is that mamish? Or is that just like a suggestion? Who brings it to halacha? As a halacha? No, he brings it to halacha. Same as matzah. Ere Pesach, the Osir to eat matzah. He says the same applies by Mar. Uh -huh. 
I think. I'm not, uh, now that you say it, I'm not entirely sure, but I, I'm pretty sure he says it's the same thing. Yeah, I don't remember. I, I'm not sure. I hear. I don't, I don't know. Space. Unless that's the reason we Vidafka use Karpas, not Mar. Today. The Mar is not very clear about that. Why Why Taka don't we eat Mar? Dip Mar. Um... I don't know. I got to see the, really the next omelet because the Gemara continues with the vegetables. I never had right. this whole sugi flour. Yeah. Right. I certainly didn't. I was also, by the way, the reason the reason I was getting up to sharp versus bitter by before was because you brought in Tysus. It's a raya from Tysus that that mar should be lettuce, not crane, because charoisus. Is not mavatl sharp, it's mavatl bitter. The kasha of toysis wouldn't apply if you're dipping chrein in charoises. It's not going to be mavatl the sharpness of the chrein. It's going to be mavatl a little bit of the bitterness. Right. Well, you want to say that nowadays the lettuce is not bitter, so you shouldn't eat it? No, it is bitter. Of course it's bitter. I, I, I never understood that. In the Gemara we had back then, in, in the first parak. The second barrack. Where was it? Where do we have Mar? Second barrack. We had this out then. That right. is a sweet, bitter. I, I, it's bitter. There's no question about it being bitter. Yeah. But uh, no, I just wanted to say that right, the Tysus did not have crane with his Mar. Otherwise, he wouldn't have a Schwer. There wouldn't be, he wouldn't have a Kash. Right. All right. All right. I wish I had answers for you, but I don't know. I don't know. What should I tell you? I don't know. This stuff, last time I learned it, I remember I had this stuff very sure also. I, I, beginning to end. Yeah. Especially on the base. I don't get any of on the base. I, I don't know right. what we just learned. I don't get it. Mm -hmm. and the rubber and Rav Yosef Kasha was a new one for tonight. Oh, I, I did, didn't have that last time. One, two, four. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I got the nap. Busy there. I got the nap. I get them. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs>